Hello everyone. Welcome to the session on faster link failure detection and failover using the new better link failure detection feature of HP UX's auto port aggregation product. This new BLFD feature is available from 1603 Fusion release of HP UX. Let us first understand the terms used in this demo. Firstly, the APA stands for auto port aggregation. It's a software product of HP Unix. It allows user to group one or more physical ports to create a logical fat pipe. There are two types of aggregates. First one is, link aggregate, this is used to provide fast and higher bandwidth network connections to server. Secondly a failover groups also known as a LAN monitor. This is another type port aggregation, which is used to provide the high available network connection to server. BLFD, stands for better link failure detection. It helps to identify the link failures and it's applicable only to LAN monitors. In this demo, we will try to understand existing behavior of LAN monitor and one of its limitation. Also we will learn on how BLFD helps to overcome those limitations. This diagram shows an sample LAN monitor configuration. That is LAN 900 is an failover group. It consists of an active and a standby physical port. At any point in time only active port carries the traffic in a failover group. Current implementation of APA depends on the networking driver or NIC driver of the physical ports to constantly update about its link status. For example, when the user brings down the primary port, or when the connectivity between the physical port and the switch gets broken. In such cases, HP APA expects a link down notification from the NIC driver. This down event causes APA to do failover. As a result traffic is migrated to standby port. Similarly when the failed link in the failover group recovers from its failure, underlying NIC driver will inform APA about the its new link status. As a result APA performs the failback operation. However, in certain cases such as software, hardware or firmware issues, driver may fail to send such link failure notifications. In such cases APA is not aware of the link failures and hence there will be no failover happening which eventually results in loss of network connectivity. So to overcome that limitation, HP APA came up with a solution called Better Link Failure Detection, also known as BLFD, which is introduced to identify such failure and help HP APA to do failover automatically. With this new feature there won't be any loss of network connectivity. In the upcoming slides we will see a live demo on HP APA behavior with and without the BLFD feature. We'll first see how APA behaves without the BLFD feature. First step is to create a LAN monitor. NWMGR, capital S APA displays all the configured APA aggregates on the system. Let us quickly create a link aggregate with LAN monitor mode using physical ports LAN 6 and LAN 10. Assign an IP address using ifconfig command and check its connectivity to one of the remote peer on the same subnet. LAN 900 is set up it's time to start some traffic. As we can see currently there is no traffic flow on the LAN 900. Let me start some traffic in the background. As highlighted, traffic flow started on the primary port that is LAN 6 of LAN 900. Everything seems to be perfect now. Let us experiment by injecting some error on LAN 6 and see how APA reacts to it. Induced dead script will inject an error on LAN 6. Remember this will not generate any notification to APA about the LAN 6 link status. We can see change in traffic pattern. Let us closely check the timestamps from when traffic pattern changed. As highlighted, traffic is stalled immediately after the error injection, but still there is no signs of failover. Let's us check the properties of LAN 900 and see who is the active port. As highlighted LAN 6 is still showed as the active port. Let us monitor the traffic for a few more minutes to see whether APA identifies the LAN 6 link status or not. Even after 6 minutes there are no signs of change in traffic pattern. This concludes that, HP APA is not able to detect the link failures without the event notifications, from the network driver. Now let's see how BLFD helps HP APA to overcome its limitation, as explained earlier. Let us quickly create a link aggregate with LAN monitor mode using LAN 6 and LAN 10 physical ports. 
NWMGR output shows LAN 900 is already created let us check its IP address. Similarly netstat output shows LAN 900 already assigned with an IP address. Let us check its connectivity to one of the remote peer on the same subnet. Setup seems to be perfect to kickstart the experiment. Now it's time to monitor the traffic on LAN 900. I have already started some traffic on LAN 900 in background. As we can see LAN 6 being the primary interface is carrying the traffic of LAN 900. Everything seems to be perfect now. Let us experiment by injecting some air on LAN 6 and see how APA reacts to it. Remember air injection will not generate any notification to APA about the LAN 6 link status. We can see there is a change in traffic pattern. Traffic is stalled immediately after the air injection, but still there are no signs of failover. Let us monitor the traffic for a few more minutes to see whether APA identifies the LAN 6 link status or not. Wow as highlighter traffic resumed on LAN 10. It seems failover happened. Let us closely check the timestamps to compute how much time it took to do failover. We injected error at 51 minutes 44 seconds and let's us check the resume timestamp look like. Traffic resumed on LAN 10 at around 52 minutes 25 seconds. It seems BLFT helped APA to do failover within 41 seconds. Let's us look at the properties of LAN 900. As highlighted LAN 10 has become the active port now. This concludes the benefit of installing the 1603 version of APA. For more details on BLFT feature, please refer to HP APA documentation at Hewlett Packard Enterprise Support Center. Thank you for watching this session.